All right, folks, real quick. Um, if you are not using the Cami extension or the Cami app, I don't know exactly what it's called. Um, if you type in Cami, it come up on Google. All right. Um, if you're not using this, you should. All right. So you, if you haven't signed up, you can create an account and you can create an account using your um, Gmail as an option. All right. So same thing as signing in. I'm already signed in. Um, but you'll click sign in and you'll sign in with your Gmail account. All right. So if you want to create a Google classroom assignment, so this, I hadn't said yet, but this is for using a, um, converting a PDF into something the students could easily type on. All right. Um, I don't know what exactly files I have on this laptop, but let's just call this practice. All right. We'll just call it prac and erase. All right, uh, instructions being gone. All right, I always send the Cami instructions. If your students, if, once they use this the first time, they shouldn't need these instructions, but, um, you know, might as well. All right, so if you link in a, a file or you can pull something from Google Drive, all right, um, I don't think I have anything on this computer. It's a new laptop. So let's pull something from Google Classroom. All right, um, PDFs. Let's see what PDFs I have on here. Sorry. Um, usually when I'm doing this, I already have something uh, set aside specifically. All right. Um, Cami uploads. Let's just see what I've already got in here. What I did last time. All right. So here's a new document. All right. Um, this document is a PDF, obviously. And we have to do, what else do I need to add? Publish. You got to pick your class, what it goes to. All right. Um, once you do all that, you can uh, go ahead and do a date and time and put it under a specific topic. You know, if you have your Google Classroom organized by topic. All right, let's assign this. So this is assigning to my students now. And obviously our internet is not the fastest in the world, but once it assigns it, you can open it up in Classroom. Um, it'll be there for students. All right, it gives these directions. So just show you this real quick. These are directions for your students on how to add the extension. Um, once they add the extension, uh, it's really easy to use this. Um, so there's the directions for that. All right. Um, so let's open up this document. And I've used, when you sign up for this, it comes with a free trial um, for premium features. I haven't used any of the premium features. Uh, I think for teachers, it's like 70 plus days of free use. Um, the only thing I've really used for this is the text box. And so this is a test. Um, so obviously not the best thing to use for this would be something that would be better converted into Google Forms. But just for example, if you want to answer this, um, you would just you know put a T there. Same thing down here for fill in the blank. And I use these, uh, I've been using Cami for my worksheets, things, uh, guided notes, things that we usually would use in class, all right? Um, and it does a really good job allowing the students to fill out these worksheets that are PDFs. And, you know, you, you can take the time to reconvert these into a, a Google form or a Google Word document, you know, type all this out or copy and paste it over. Um, but this Cami works really, really well, especially for things that you don't want the students to have a chance to edit the text if you want it to stay the same. So I just want to share that. Um, pretty easy to use pretty straightforward system. Once again, I don't know exactly what are premium features versus non-premium features, um, but I know that this will get me through most of the rest of the semester. And when my trial runs out, I'll decide whether or not I want to pay for it. But it works pretty good.